Well, let's get into Pure Technologies. This is one of the stocks that you actually follow. Um, why do you like PUR and what do they do? Well, first of all, Pure Technologies has a monitoring technology that monitors critical infrastructure. So they've used it in the past for bridges uh, and parking garages and so forth. But where I got really excited about it is their uh, use to monitor underground uh, water lines. This is an asset that uh, you can't see it, you can't inspect it visually. So uh, uh, their technology allows a, a company to assess the, you know, the, the critical stages of these, uh, these water mains. The one issue with, uh, with this water infrastructure is that it's, in North America in particular, it's in, uh, it's in really poor shape. Um, and we're seeing um, uh, water mains breaking co continuously. Uh, the New York Times quoted that every two minutes a, uh, a water line breaks in the United States alone. So this uh, technology allows um, companies to really get a, a handle on where the, where the breaks are going to happen. There's no question that, that there's a need from what you're saying, but who, who uh, buys it? Who actually buys the technology? And my question is just essentially, do, do municipalities or whoever's buying it have the money to do it right now, even though there is a need? Yeah, the municipalities uh, are uh, mainly the buyers. Uh, there are some private projects as well, but municipali municipalities are the, are the, uh, the major users. Now, um, the Obama administration has uh, earmarked uh, $6 billion uh, towards uh, water and, and wastewater infrastructure. So there is money that's being uh, sent uh, from the from the uh, from the federal level to uh, to help with these projects. And is that is that affected at all by Buy American uh, legislation? I mean, it does. Uh, do they get blocked out for that reason? Yeah, there has been some situations where, um, for example, the raw materials that are used. Uh, is you know favored with an American um, uh, buyer, but with Pure, uh, they actually have um, uh, offices in the United States. Uh, they, uh, I've asked them this question. They haven't seen any any pushback at all from uh, from the Buy American movement. So they've been uh, they've been doing well, and they've announced a number of very large contracts uh, in the last uh, in the last two years with uh, with many U.S. municipalities. Sorry, I, sorry to interrupt. I see their profit took a hit last year. It fell to four cents from the year a, a year earlier. Although you're seeing it going up to 16 cents a share this year. But why was the Pure's earnings? Why were they down in 2009? Yeah, they were down uh, primarily due to uh, to forex losses, to foreign exchange uh, losses. So, uh, t stripping out the forex losses, they would have been up uh, on a year-over-year -year basis. But uh, but they definitely, um, you know, they. When the, US, when the Canadian dollar gets stronger, that does have an impact on their earnings.